This is N1EA. This is a demonstration of how I set up a American type straight key. The key in question is an ITT Mackie Marine key and uh, being a commercial key it's been covered with a uh, cover because the key line was um, two to three hundred volts depending upon the uh, I, I guess it was a uh, hundred and thirty volts hundred and thirty volts up to uh, three hundred amps I knew I got that three hundred got there just make sure that the key is adjusted right the contact should go over the anvil you can adjust it by centering it with these uh, trunnion screws the cable should be tight this is a spring tension and we'll loosen that up the key will fall under its own weight obviously that's too, too little okay, we need at least the tension to hold it up Okay, so this is how we adjust it, and this is way out of adjustment. We adjust the spring so that we don't stutter. That's not too bad. And then we adjust the spacing. We should be able to send at least a minute of dots and dashes. I find the spacing is more critical on the dashes. And also the spring is uh, more precisely adjusted on the dashes. And you, and you should adjust it so that you don't make mistakes like I did. If you slur like that, that means there's too little tension. So increase. Okay, that's that's a good starting spot here. Now I probably ruined my fist in many years, but it's supposed to be done. Let's readjust the camera again. So that the forearm moves. Let's see if I can get it here. And the, um, obviously the camera crew is on uh, holiday. And the, um, this should be very limp. Which means a little bit more spring. Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to show you how to do it on a British type key.